Hello. All right, how are you doing? Go over there. Yeah. Have a great night. All right, let me show you what's going on today. I'm gonna turn this on, DC power on lights. Got the bed all, not made, but the bed's ready to go. Uh, we're gonna be doing the stealth camp at the keg, and I'm so excited. Again, when I first started thinking about doing this carnivore thing for a month, I'm like, where am I gonna eat? Like, what restaurants am I gonna choose? Because you guys love it when I eat at restaurants. So one of the first places that came to mind uh, was Wendy's because I was thinking of the, the Baconator with the extra bacon and all that. And uh, my second choice in my mind was uh, the keg because they got great steaks, good food, good people. Been there many, many, many times. So uh, right now, Rusty isn't in the best of shape. Uh, we're trying to figure out what's wrong with him. Um, wish him luck. But this is Moose, just in case you guys don't know. This is our 2017 Mercedes Sprinter van. It's the 170, which is the extra length one. Um, and so we're going to be camping in this tonight. Uh, we do have two very large batteries as part of this whole system. And uh, this is the, the EcoFlow system. And uh, But I also brought my Jackeries. I brought that one. That's my 2,000 watt, my 1,000 watt, and my 500 watt. Uh, because I'm going to be plugging this thing in tonight. This is our radiator, our radiator heater, and it's full of oil, so uh, it can't freeze, which is great. The bed has two electric blankets underneath, which we just plug into our AC right there, and uh, so I'll be sleeping on top of that. We got lots of blankets. I got this um, comforter. I'll put that on top, and then I brought my minus nine sleep bag just in case, uh, and I also brought the. Uh, Rusty's electric blanket and then we'll do coffee in the morning got my Bucky's I uh, brought my computer so I can work do some work tonight but uh, again I wasn't sure like it is possible that that thing will use up a lot of juice and, and it's not possible it will use up a lot of juice so I thought for a little bit of time I brought my heater but I ran out of fuel out of all my tanks at home that I really wanted to refill didn't have time so i had to buy three more and uh yeah we're all set for tonight go get a steak and some seafood hopefully got a reservation for 4 30. camp keg <laughs> gotta find that juicy parking spot to stealth camp tonight When you feel the bump, you're there. Back wheels hit the little curb, and now I know the whole back end is hanging over the curb, and uh, the front of my vehicle isn't uh, gonna be in anybody's way. Let's go eat a steak. <laughs> Reservation for one under Ken. Thank you. This looks good. Out of the way. Hi, how are you? Excellent. Uh, Start with the drink today? I'm just gonna be doing water. Yeah, wonderful. Are we yeah. doing dinner in here? Of course. Thank you. All right, guys, check out these appetizers. We've got escargot, mushrooms. Obviously, I can't have any of that. But the uh, possible scallops and bacon. That would be doable. Again, I'm doing the uh, carnivore diet. There's a lot of things on here that I cannot do. Last time I was here, I did that Kansas City sirloin, which was amazing. I had to take away the, the sauce and the vegetables. Thank you. I'm, I'm thinking the uh, scallops and bacon. So I'm doing the whole carnivore diet thing. So I can't have any carbs at all. So if there's any carb thing on there, you might as well just take it off. It's just a bacon and scallop. I'll start with that first, thank you. So it does help when you tell them what you're up to. And the other thing I'm thinking of doing is 
just asking them what their biggest steak is. They have like 18 ounce, 12, 12, 8, 10, 10, 12. I know they have a 20, there it is. The rib steak, 20 ounces. I think that's the biggest steak they have. I think we'll be ordering whatever the biggest steak is and I think that's it. And then we're gonna add to the meal by doing the jumbo, grilled jumbo shrimp. Cheers guys. Welcome back to Stealth Camping. I've heard through the grapevine too, and my son, that the keg burger is awesome. Let us know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. Yeah, is the largest steak you guys have is the, the rib steak? That's the heaviest one? No. Okay, I'll do the rib steak. Medium rare, please. And more on the rare than the medium, if that's a thing. <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna top it off with uh, the grilled jumbo shrimp. For sure. I'm not sure if I should go total piggish and do it lobster tail too, but I think that'll be enough, maybe. It's like a big portion of the jumbo shrimp. We get five on the skewer. Right yeah. Now. Also a good size. Okay. So if you want to start with that, we can always add that on after it. If you're still hungry, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Well, so we'll do the steak and the and the shrimp. Yeah. Uh, again, no sides. Yeah. Or... Yeah, Thank you. So I was here last week uh, with family and uh, I had the Kansas City uh, strip loin. Fantastic with a shrimp skewer on the top. Um, but normally they would bring like a big chunk of bread with butter. Uh, they also have, um, they have regular butter and they also have like a three cheese butter. Both of them are fantastic. But uh, if you ever go to the keg, they give you a nice big loaf of bread right at the beginning, which really fills you up. But since I'm doing no carbs, I'll have to pass on that. But let me know in the comments below if you want me to come back and do their prime rib dinner with everything, like the bread, the prime rib, their Billy Miner pie at the end, which is their, the best dessert that they have here. Wow, super hot, I imagine. It's gonna be a little bit hot on the skewer. I can't eat that or that, so if you'd like to take it. The sauce? Yeah, thanks. I just don't wanna touch anything and then you guys, good. thank you very much. Enjoy. So as you guys could see, it came with cocktail sauce and a lemon wedge, and uh, obviously I can't eat that, so I'm just wondering if the skewer is crazy hot. Yep. Ooh, look at those juicy strips of bacon. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five scallops all together. Well, you can smell the scallops big time. Let's just take them all off the skewer and don't have to worry about it again, right? I, I honestly think these would be good without the cocktail sauce. Once again, if you've eaten this before, let me know if the cocktail sauce is good with this. Going in for oh, scallop number one. Mm. The scallops are fantastic. And then wrapped in bacon, are you kidding? Oh, if you've never had scallops before, please give them a shot. I might as well do it at the keg. Mm. I can't believe I haven't had these before here. They're fantastic, man. I saw these on the menu last time, and there's one or two people in the last video that said if you go to the keg, you get these. Because these are their favorite too. And I can see why. Well, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, this is the first time I ever had these. <laughs> They're yummy. Yeah, yeah, here, yeah. Very good. Mmm. So, so good. That almost beats a shrimp cocktail. I love shrimp cocktail. It's my number one thing. This is my number two, but it's very close. Oh, that looks great. Is there anything else we can get for you? Um, no, thank you. Wow. Oh yeah, it's been a while since I've had a rib steak at the keg, but it is one of my favorite things to order here. All right guys, going for the extreme close up of this 20 ounce rib steak. That looks fantastic with a, a topper of shrimp, shrimp skewer. Let's just remove that. Let's see if we can tip that over so we can get a better look at this steak. Look at that crisscross action happening. We've got that bone basically a ribeye with a bone in 
Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Got our steak knife. I'm gonna pull off these shrimp once again. I think I can handle it this time. Come on. Nice. Nice. Nicer. Nicest. <laughs> you guys can stay out there. Let's see if I can pull off a tail with my knife and my fork. I think I can do it. Yeah, nailed it. So I like to cut up a little bit of shrimp. Have that ready to go off to the side. Oh my goodness. Did you see that steak jiggle? Look at that, oh my. Like I don't like rare, but I like, and I don't like medium, I like medium rare. But if I ask for medium rare, it sometimes comes rare. And I don't like that. Let's do a little quick piece of this shrimp. Grilled shrimp as a topper is a must. It jacks the price up, but uh, I'm gonna cut this and we'll see how good it is. Oh my, oh my, I think they nailed it. I think they nailed it. I, mean, I don't like it cold in the middle. It's gotta be hot. Oh my goodness. It's warm in the middle, but that is pretty good. I think that's the, uh, the best rib steak I've had at the keg. Like, like the perfect doneness. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wow. Yep. They had the right cooking for me today. It is, I think, one of the best uh, rib steaks that you guys have made for me. Wonderful. Yeah, okay. if, I, if I don't ask for it that way, it always comes like medium and yeah. So I have to like, just, just a little more rare than, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, a nice big ribbon of fat right here. Oh, here we go. Another beautiful piece. I would love to have some steak sauce with that or some horseradish. Just look how juicy that is, guys. Really don't want to turn my light on in my camera and freak everybody out. But look how amazing. I know some of you guys do not like it like this, but I prefer it like this than medium to medium well. Yuck. Look at that. Oh my. Yeah. Mm. Can't forget the shrimp. <laughs> I am so happy. I, I I get really disappointed when I order something and I'm, I'm trying to make a video and be all super positive, but it comes to me wrong. This is one of the very rare times that I, I get exactly what I want. And I'm very, very happy about that. Let us all know in the comments below, what is your favorite cut of meat? I know most of you guys like rib steaks or ribeye. Next time you're out and about, order a rib steak. Same thing, but better. I just love the gooeyness of that. Sounds like somebody's having a martini. Wish I could be having a martini right now. That would be lovely. That is so good. Nice and salted up. Nice and peppered up. Oh yeah, look at that. So that one side was a little more rare and this is getting into like the medium rare. I don't mind. I am loving making this video for you. I wonder why. I'm glad I didn't do the lobster tail. 
if she comes by again, I'm gonna ask her if I can get one of those little dishes of butter. I'm so, so glad I'm here. Sorry, Wendy's and Harvey's, but this is better. Starting to cut around the bone here, where a lot of the flavor is. Meat close to the bone. There we go. Steak and shrimp. I'm gonna flip her over. Mmm. They definitely gave me the best side, presentation side first. Or up. And again, you gotta you gotta pair this up with a with shrimp skewer. Because that is awesome. Another beautiful piece. Thank you. Oh yeah. It helps if you put the shrimp on first. Now, is it rude to pick up the bone and start feasting? I don't know the etiquette to that. Because there's still lots of meat on there. Let's finish this off. I have two little pieces of shrimp left. I think that's that perfect piece of meat in the matrix when Cypher is talking to Smith. Ignorance is bliss. Mm -hmm. It is. It's gonna be my last piece with shrimp. Chew it slowly. Savor it. Remember, reminisce. Let's see if we can get some of this meat off the bone. Yep, it's coming off. Oh yeah. Just as juicy as I started. Try to get off as much as I can. No. Again, is it piggish to pick this up? I'm out on it. Like an animal. Yeah, we are done, people. We are done. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The Clean Plate Award once again. Oh, I'm gonna sit back and relax for a bit. The football game's on. Giants are winning seven, nothing over the Cowboys. And I believe this is the wild card. And I think they just got a touchdown. That was absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. I can't offer you dessert because we don't have any cardboard desserts. I know, but Billy Minor Pie is it's really good. I'll have to wait a month and then I can have it. It's not, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Just the bill. Thanks. Thank you. Of course. Have a great evening. You too. And you're right. I'm glad I didn't get the, uh, the lobster. Right? I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Till tomorrow, probably. Yeah. Till tomorrow, probably. It's also not going anywhere. Yeah, thank you. And there's the bill with the two candies that I'm going to have to refuse. And she said, thank you. Very nice lady. So the 20 ounce rib steak is $59. Add shrimp is 15. The scallops and bacon is 16. Plus our taxes here. So 10170. And then after the 20% tip, 122.04. All right, guys, time to start stealth camping. Thank you. Have a good night. Yummy. I'm full, but that still smells good. Oh, the smell of steak cooking. Yummy. coffee for tomorrow morning Bucky's for later that's gonna go up there electric blanket got my water and here is my thermal blanket we'll put that up between the front and back
nice and snug. Perfect. This is supposed to stick, right? So this is a 2000 watt battery. Uh, if it's going to be using 1500 watts straight, uh, it is going to not be that great. It'll only last for one and a half hours. So uh, I'm not gonna use it. It's just not worth the power. It's gonna steal. Unplugging, shut that off. I'll just rely on my electric blankets. Actually, I'm gonna do, uh, put on the buddy heater here. This will warm this place up much cheaper. got heat so this thing would be great or is great when you're plugged into shore power but uh, definitely never use your electrical power that you need for other things I'm so glad I brought the, the uh, buddy here The toilet doesn't work until uh, it gets warmer out or we're gonna be camping for a bit because we don't want it to freeze. So there's no water, we don't use that. Uh, but if I need to go to the washroom real bad, I've got my little pee jugs. But I don't foresee me having to go to the bathroom that bad tonight. It's minus eight degrees outside. Minus eight, minus 16 degrees Celsius. So I really wish I brought my thermometer. I left it in Rusty. Uh, I used to have, I thought I had two, but I won't be able to tell you what the temperature is in here, but um, maybe in about two and a half, three hours, I will get my bed plugged in and get it warm about a half an hour before I go into it. But I'll be definitely using the uh, EcoFlow system uh, and my AC power for that. It's hopefully going to keep some of the heat in this side. That was a fantastic dinner. I highly recommend it. It's going to do a little more organizing and then we'll probably watch some a movie or something.
Let's see if we can squeeze in here a little bit. There we go. So we are, there's the Swiss Chalet over there. To our very far right is the keg. And that's where the keg is, right behind us. So, you can see the windows are all freezing up. Heater just went out and it's uh, just eight o'clock. I'm pretty sure that should run a little bit longer. Uh, you know what? I think I had it on high for about an hour and then I turned it to low. So that's probably why. So let's take this out. And here's a huge tip for you guys. When you do finish using it for the night, take the, take the tank off. So let's grab another tin. I'll put it on low and I'll time it this time. This is why people get diesel heaters in their vehicles, because this is expensive. So it's five minutes after eight. We'll see how long that goes on low. We'll keep it on low the whole time. It's keeping the edge off. You can see a little bit of my breath. So it's that cold that it's, uh, you can see my breath, but it's, um, uh oh, it went out. What's going on? Oh, so when the other tank ran out of fuel, it's emptied the line, so hang on. That's funny. I move it from here to here, and it starts right away. So I'm just thinking that there was no fuel in the line, and it took a little bit of time to restart. So let's, there we go. Let's put on high just for a second. Let's show you something. There it is, look at that. A little light show going on. Uh oh, something's going on. Finally got Buddy, Mr. Heater, working. I have no idea. I changed the tank, took the tank. That's a full tank, but for whatever reason, it was not working very well. And then I moved it from there to there, up here, and then back onto that green stool. And somehow, for some reason, it's working. So. I'm not sure exactly. Anybody who's got a buddy here, let me know if you've had issues starting yours and why. Why would all of a sudden it wouldn't work great? But now it is. And it is cold. So I'm hoping it works. The bed's nice and warm though. Let's put my hand underneath. All the electric blankets are working great. It's around 9.30, the Leafs are playing Detroit, the Leafs are winning, so I'm gonna crawl into bed between those two electric blankets and try to keep as warm as I can. Uh, right now it is. It's minus 11 degrees outside. So it's minus 11. What's the wind chill? So it is minus 19 degrees Celsius uh, here in, in uh, Newmarket, Ontario. This will be officially the coldest night I've spent in a vehicle. 
So I'm glad you guys are with me. Keep me company. But uh, let's crawl in the bed. I've got my slippers ready for the morning. When I get out of bed, I am going to immediately grab those keys, pull this down, stick the keys in the ignition, start it up, crank the heat up, and try to get this room temperature up. Because I don't think that's going to work first thing in the morning. I was kind of hoping it would. But uh, the tanks, I think, are just too cold. Uh, I was thinking about putting one inside the bed. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this one. There's still fuel in there. I'm going to put it just in this side over here just to try a little bit of electric blanket right there. There we go. Perfect. Oh, if that stays warm, then hopefully I'll be able to put it on to the heater and then start that up and get the air in here as uh, warmed up as quickly as I can. So I'm going to shut this off. You guys can still see good i'll have to turn the light on on the uh, camera hang on oh just sitting here on my knees that's a piece of steak i screwed up uh my knees are it's so warm to kneel on well i'm hoping these aren't the ones that shut off after a certain amount of time but i'm gonna keep that right there so i can see it in the middle of the night and then i can quickly get up turn it on just in case it does shut off oh it is nice and warm wow wow this is awesome crazy but awesome okay guys oh my gosh my toes are freezing i'm gonna have to plug in whoops i've got this little power box uh i do have like a usb plug in here but this the phone doesn't have that kind of plug in uh i've got the usb-c so anyway so i'm gonna watch the rest of the game oh well leafs lost four to two against detroit congratulations detroit it is now 20 after 10 and i'm hitting the hay good night guys <laughs>
Oh boy. Totally frozen. Obviously it's still dark out, but let's get this beast going. That's not good. That's not good at all. Let's get some heat going first. Hope this works. Well, that's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Oh my goodness. So that worked out really well. Hopefully that heats up this interior as quickly as possible. And the water is frozen. I was thinking about that last night. I'm like, I should put the water in the bed too. Oh, okay. It's not that frozen. <laughs> oh my gosh. What am I doing? You can see my breath. Oh, oh, I can't believe I forgot my thermometer. There's a little bit of ice in the bottom of that too. And that was true. Everything's frozen. How much water can I get out of here? Oh, good. So it wasn't frozen to the core. There's some ice. That's how cold it is. Ah, it won't close because it's so cold. Come on, buddy. There you go. I know it's going to be cold with these boots on, but I'm hoping my feet will warm them up real quick. We might be calling CAA, which is the Canadian Auto Automobile Association. heater make sure it is definitely empty good morning Bucky this thing's frozen it won't take much the thought though there we go yep it's thought cheers guys Woo! killer hot freezing and hot at the same time this thing's great i bought this the first time we uh, did a sleepover at chick-fil-a and uh, it's like a Milwaukee. It's got the whole LED here. Um, it's got a magnet on it, on the top, on the back. So I can do that, light up the interior of the van on a quick moment's notice. When I did that first winter stealth camp this year at the uh, Arrowhead Provincial Park, um, this is what made that video happen i'm glad that, that i had that handy so i could at least light up the area where i was cooking and so you guys could see it on the video all right let's give this car one more shot i'm not sure what's going on this isn't good
the hell? Oh boy. We're stuck. At least we got coffee. We got heat. Oh boy. Still got lots of power left for my lights. 20%. Mercedes-Benz Newmarket. We are currently closed. Thank you for calling CA. Does Sakina Virtual Service gonna help us? Hi, uh, I, uh, I have a diesel Mercedes Sprinter van and it won't turn over. Uh, the battery seems fine, but uh, again, this is uh, the first time this has ever happened to me, so I, I'm not sure uh, how you guys can help me. You need a tow? Uh, I don't think so. I just need somebody to help me get this thing started. If you'd like, I can set you up for like a battery boost. That would be great. Thank you. Is that by Green Lane? Yes. Green Lane and Young Street. Alright, so currently our ETA is by 9.30. Thank you very much. Thank you for going to see you. Take care. Have a good day. Bye. 7.48. So uh, we have like an hour and 45 minutes. Wait. Oh well. At least I got coffee and I got heat. Awesome. And the battery's under here, unfortunately. Oh, is it? Well, yeah. okay, but can you pop the hood? Because oh, a lot okay. of times they still give you boost points. That would be amazing if they did that. My buddy said they might might have that. Another thing I gotta look into is see if I have a block heater in here somehow. Yeah, that would be, a, that'd be good too. I always thought diesels were good in the winter, but apparently not. I mean, they're good. <laughs> you can get them gold, but they definitely do struggle. Yeah. It's just a diesel. Like, That's uh, awesome. Yeah, I've actually never seen this either. But I know they they always do the boost ones. That's why I knew that was here, but I've never seen them. That's boost great. Boost. Yeah, your battery's a bit low, so that could oh. be the issue. Hopefully, we'll see. That's awesome. I have to remember that. Hook it there, pull that little tab. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Can you give it a try now? Sure. Keep trying. Keep trying? Nothing. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It seems like it could be a starter or something. Did it struggle at all yesterday with starter? Oh, when you first tried it, it did absolutely nothing. Same thing as doing now. Yeah. Just, nothing. Just click, nothing. No error. Yeah. <laughs> Extra battery power. Nice. Sometimes she seems a little bit it doesn't seem like it because it's not even trying to draw power, but it's worth a try. Okay. Okay. One more try. All right, people, this is it. Please. I got a louder click. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. At least I got my heat. He even asked about that. He goes, at least, are you staying warm in there? I'm like, yep. Got my coffee, got my heater. Basically got to wait till Mercedes opens and then they're going to have to come and tell me. What a day. What a day. Welcome to Mercedes-Benz. English. Heater just fa Please failed. Press one. It's negative 14 degrees outside. The wind chill is currently negative 23 degrees Celsius. Still freezing cold called Abrams Towing. They're going to come pick up my van, take it up to Barry, see what's wrong with the van. Chances are I probably need a new battery, maybe a new starter. I'll let you know in the next video, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, Carol's coming down to pick me up. They're going to just take the vehicle and uh, take it up to Barry, get the van fixed. And uh, yeah, there's a, a nice exit to our adventure here in Newmarket at the uh, the keg. I enjoyed this video. Uh, this is the coldest I've ever spent time in my van overnight. And uh, it started off being minus 19 degrees uh, with the wind chill. Went all the way down to minus 23 as of this morning. And it's not heating up anytime soon, it doesn't seem. I thought I'd be getting warmer as this morning started progressing, but it is not. And uh, I think right now it is 8.30. 
6 in the morning and uh, Carol just texted me so she's on her way the towing company will call me when they're on their way I have to secure everything in here uh, especially the jackeries get them fastened to the walls so they don't start flopping around when the guy tows it all right thank you very much guys for hanging out with me on this video very adventurous this one and uh, thanks for all your comments your likes your shares I'd like to also thank my channel members for all your monthly support and my supporters over on Patreon. You guys rock. If you enjoyed this video and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that playlist I dumped on over there. And we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.